Well, I think I planted my seeds too early. This could hurt me, or maybe not. We'll see. I'm always willing to find ways around situations like this. Let me go ahead and show you an update on to why I had planted my seeds too early. Okay, everybody. Right off the bat, can anybody tell what I had done different from the last video, which I'll post above? Anyway, here, let me give you guys a quick update on this TSL 2000. This is a Mars Hydro unit. This thing here has been performing perfect, very good. This one here has a nice reflective hood, so I got dual ballasts. This one has a single ballast, but this one generally will put out more lights, but I could compensate for that by turning this knob here. All right. But what I will say is that light is doing a phenomenal job with these plants. But unfortunately, my plants are getting too big. They're starting to outgrow. I'm watering pretty much every day. Yesterday, I had filled all these back up with their newts. And as you can see, this one here, the Sugar Rush Peach here, is really sucking it up. A lot of these other ones are too. So what I had done is I had to move some plants around to save some room because they were all growing into each other. I mean, like, look at this uh, tiger peach here. I mean, she is a gorgeous plant, but they started all growing into each other. Just like my scorpion cross bubble gum I did last year. This is the F1. They're going crazy. But over there, you know, you guys seen my previous video. I didn't change any of these. All these are the same, and I have another problem I'm going to show you with these five gallon totes. Not really a problem, just something I should have done in the beginning. And then of course I had to move some of my plants here that were under my LEDs over on the counter. Again, because they were outgrowing each other. This one here is my white scorpion that was under the LED. And this one here is my Florna, which by the way is doing great. So back over here, as you can see, they're still pretty crowded. And then over here, down below my island here, I had to move my fish pepper. She's not doing too bad. This is my first year growing it in hydroponics. This one I did top and I probably shouldn't have. Uh, some of these thicker stalks started breaking. Not sure what that is, but she looks like she's coming back to life. This one here is one of my red ghosts. And this one here is my seven pot brain strain. Now this one here was under the LED. I'm going to show you the seven pot brain strain over here. That was not under the LED. And as you can see, and no I did not top any of the super hots, just the uh, sweet peppers. Well, I woke up this morning and found these three plants laying down. Oh man, was I my stomach dropped. So I came back with these stainless steel skewers. Okay, if you can see right here. So far, I used them last year, they didn't rust. But for right now, they're holding up the plants. And uh, this one over here, like I said, these plants were only designed for these five gallon totes just to grow up big enough to take them outside in the soil. Well, I got a whole nother month to go, and I don't know what I'm going to do. It's going to be a jungle in here before then. So as you can see here, I did remove one of the plants. But there is my ghost back there. Kind of see, she's pretty leggy. I don't know how well she's going to do. But she's starting to bud. Gets a little bit of flowers there. And uh, as you can see, the one under the island is doing much better. But these here live their whole life under the T5s. Those over there have lived their whole life under LEDs, which I think those look much, much better. And of course, these over here were under the LEDs too. They're only gonna be under this T5 for about a month. It shouldn't make any difference by the time they go outside. But if you look here, I got five plants. Let's see, I got my, over here, my chocolate habanero in the back there. I got my Scorpion Reaper F1. This is the ghost. This one here is my Reaper, Reaper Scorpion F2. This one here in the back. 
And then here is the very front one we're looking at is the Scorpion Bubblegum. And this is the F1. She's starting to flower pretty much all over. And yeah, I am going to have fun getting the root system out. Let me see if I can lift this up carefully so you guys can see the roots. I mean, they're doing great. I don't know if you guys, you guys can't see back in there. But there's enough room to where I could still pull these, these neck cups out of the holes without damaging the roots. That was the, the main thing I was concerned about because I didn't want to have to cut or damage my totes. Because I want to use this for next year. I'll just have to plant them a lot earlier. I'd like to show you here my very first peppers that come through was, of course, the sweeter one. It's a Cajun Bell. I planted less than three months ago. And if you look here, I already got peppers growing. That was my very first pepper. And then I had these babies down here starting. And then there's quite a few in the back there. From what I told, this is a mass producer. And they're kind of like a, it's hard to explain. It's almost like a overgrown habanero, but not as hot as a habanero. Very flavorful. And this one here, this is my sugar rush peach that I planted at the same time. As you guys can see, I got a bunch of little peppers growing in there. Oops, sorry about that. You see all them little peppers? Got some right there, way in the back. This all over. Okay, now I'm gonna explain to you guys, or to everybody, why I think I, I started my seeds too early. I wanna explain this. These five gallon totes, I told you before, that these were designed only to get the plants big enough to get them outside. They're fine, they work great. I believe you could you could do full grown plants. As you can see, I got peppers on this one, uh, peppers on that one, and uh, flowering all over the place. And uh, you know, I don't see any reason why you couldn't. Like last year I had the 12 gallon totes. That was, that's a 27 gallon tote. Right now it has, I started out with 20 gallons of water, then I dropped it to 18 when the roots hit the water, and now the roots are long enough, I got it down to 16 gallons of water. It's a great setup, but again, you can't grow five plants in that 26 or that 27 gallon tote. It is just too much. So that's why I wanted to separate them, have six plants in one. They're still all getting the nutrients they need. So anyway, back to the point, uh, they got so tall, I had no bracing for them. So what they'll end up doing is wanting to fall over. Like this one here would fall over into that plant. I'll catch it. You know, right after a water change. And then I have to go brace it. This one's braced up too with one of them stainless steel things. I probably should have had like a some form of bracing. Or maybe I'll figure out something to where I could, you know, string it up. Or, But right now they're holding up. As long as I could keep them solid, they'll be fine. Uh, one thing I don't like about the five-gallon totes. Is once they get this big, pretty soon, look, I just watered this yesterday. Less than like maybe 14 hours ago. And there's already about almost maybe a gallon that it drank already and uh, that's what I liked about the 12 gallon totes when I'm uh, growing indoor directly so basically I would take it the ones I'm going to keep here in the office are the ones that I'm going to keep uh, indoors they're going to go in the 12 gallon totes hopefully you guys can follow all this I know most of you can the ones that follow me uh, just trying to make sense to everybody uh, I don't like the way these plants looked uh, they just look too leggy. They're not bushy at all. But then again, I'm, I topped every single plant I had last year. And they all pretty much look like these. Uh, really nice. I don't know if the LEDs have a lot to do with it. Uh, if the five gallon totes being that they're, you know, being in two and a half gallons of water right now versus being in, say, uh, six, seven gallons of water. Uh, I'm not 100% on that because I'm still new to growing. This is my second season growing. And so far, everything's doing great. Uh, well, as long as I get peppers out of these, I'll, I'll be fine. You know, as far as these leggy looking ones. Uh, anyway, just to wrap this up a little bit. Uh, I use uh, the General Hydroponics, uh, the Micro Bloom Grow uh, series. 
the regular pH down. I use CalMag uh, just in the beginning stages when I first do a water change. Uh, here's the blue labs. I use this for checking my ECs, which is um, basically measuring how much, how many newts you have in the in your container for your water. And here is the uh, blue labs pH pen, which also tells you your temperature of the water and your pH levels. And this thing is a must. Both of these is a must. So this is all I use for this grow. That's it, what you see right there. Like I said, first through the water change. Now, adjusting, when I add water, I, I adjust accordingly uh, with these here. And I'll show you how I do that in another video. Uh, when I go do another water change, I'll show you how I do these plants. They all get treated equally. There's no difference in each plant. The only thing you're gonna see difference is the lighting. There's a ceiling fan above me right here that's the air they get the plants do move around and uh so anyway guys uh tell me you tell me your thoughts on this uh what do you think did i uh start way too early or did i start just in time because i got one more month to go then i could pull some of these or most of these out get them outside in the soil and that'll free me up a room for at least a plant there and a plant there where i plan on doing crosses and over here, I'm gonna keep uh, maybe one or two here. Possibly a smaller plant might go right there. I don't know yet. I'm just saying, cause you know, you guys that follow me, I change things up all the time cause they just never know what's gonna happen. All right, everybody. So that's gonna wrap up the video for today. Uh, this, if you own a TSL 2000 LED light fixture like this, leave a comment below and tell me what you think about it. Uh, do you like it or don't you like it? I. I'm loving it. This thing is, I'm actually going to order two of, well, I'm going to order one for this side and then put one of these lights over, you know, on the other side of the, 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 my grow room here. Uh, but just let me know uh, your guys' thoughts on LEDs versus the T5s. I mean, last year I, all I had was T5s and they worked out great. I had no problem with them, but these uh, LEDs is the way to go. I'm telling you, you get full color of plants I mean just full growth in no time like I said less than three months and some of these plants are I started late February they're only like two and a half months and you see how big they are and uh so yeah hey thanks for watching and have a great day